Good evening, doctors. Yes, good evening. Okay. Today our session we are going to start, and today's topic is IPC. As we all know, the full form of IPC is yeah. Yes. Indian yes. Penal Code. Yeah, you are right. Yes, Doctor M L A. This time you are very active, and we also have today a new doctor, Doctor Lal Singh. Yeah, and Doctor Manmohan. Okay, welcome to all today's session. Thank you. IPC 82 is a law in which a child less than seven years, right. which is not come under a criminal procedures. Yeah, there is no punishment for him right. because. But in according to the railway law, if we know five to seven years, if a Child will throw us some stone into a railway track or on a train, and he broken down a window. Then the punishment, like okay. So I am going to explain some of these orally, and then I will show you. You can write. And in last of my lecture, I am going to ask some question, and you have to choose which uh, IPC is it. So eighty two IPC is less than seven year child is not deserve a punishment for his because he is not mentally prepared. And IPC 83, a child which is mentally are not developed seven to twelve years, if commit some any uh, criminal activity, then is also not mentally prepared. Okay. Then IPC 191, 191 is refer for a doctors or anybody who provide a false evidence or who give a false. Uh, evidence in front of magistrate or anybody. Okay, one ninety two is creating a false evidence. You know, guys, have you ever seen so many movies? So many people like to put like cocaine or maybe some drugs in their bag, someone bag. So it is a creating of a false evidence or maybe some <coughs> making a false certificate. That comes under one ninety two. Okay, then Indian Penal Code one ninety three is punishment for false evidence. Is perjury? Perjury is known as punishment for providing a false evidence. Okay, and it's very important, very very important. IPC one ninety seven. IPC one ninety seven is issuing a false certificate by a doctor. By a doctor. Someone is issuing a false certificate, like doctor, as we know, yeah. as we know very well, they are providing a false certificate, like in that manner, as we know it, like doctor providing a medical certificate for illness, false evidence, or maybe he is providing a certificate that someone is handicapped, so he is come under one ninety seven. So doctors never provide a false certificate. Okay. IPC 228A is identity of a rape victim is protected. We are not going to disclose his identity according to a section 228A. So, my dear friends, it's very repeatedly asking questions. IPC 300, everybody knows it defines murder. Okay, then IPC 302. Is punishment for murder. As we know, what was the meaning of IPC? IPC responsible for definition. IPC responsible for punishment. Or okay, two things as we know. And three zero four A as we all know, it's a homicidal or sometimes unintentional, unintentionally doing something like if somebody accidents someone, he don't want to kill him but he died. So it is unintentional things, like in surgery, sometimes for doctors, some gauze piece inside the abdominal cavity. So it's known as unintentional. So they are punishable under three zero four A. Then three zero four B is a dowry death. Dowry death, my dear friends, is dowry death. So punishment is not less than ten years. <coughs> it's nearly ten years. Okay. <coughs> Then IPC three zero seven three zero seven only attempt of murder. It provides information about the attempt of murder and nothing else. 
and IPC 3012, 312, 312, it's very important, it's very important. Dr. Manmohan, you want to explain something about IPC 312? It's a miscarriage. In our India, it's very much common, guys. Like a female child. Earlier, nowadays our government is very strict, very, very strict. They are cancelling the license of such doctors, those who are doing such practice. Miscarriage. IPC 314 is a death of woman due to abortion. Is a criminal abortion, not a simple abortion. Not with the consent of a gynecologist, not with the consent of a physician. It's a criminal abortion and during that time a woman is died. It comes under 340. 315, kill a child after birth and they want to show it was a natural death. Like during the time of birth when he alive, they clamp his neck with the umbilical cord. So it's a crime and sometimes they do not clamp a little cord. So a lot of blood loss and child death. So it is a claims under 315. Then IPC 319, it's simply and nothing need to remember. It's 319, hurt, it defines hurt. And IPC 320, IPC 320 is responsible for grievous hurt as we know so many incidents in our society. Somebody throw a vitriol is like acid on a face of a girl. It's came under 320. Like grievous injury. That endangers life. IPC 321 is a voluntarily causing hurt. Voluntarily causing hurt came under 321. IPC 323 is punishment voluntarily hurt. Voluntarily hurt for punishment 323. Uh, define a rape definition according 375 IPC. And 376 is punishment. Punishment it includes. And 377 is sodomy and bestiality. Bestiality, do you know guys? Anybody can explain me the bestiality? Okay, I will tell you. Bestiality means a uh, intercourse or a sexual practicing with animals. It's a crime according to 377. Yeah. IPC 498A, it's a very common, very common in India, India. We are seeing a lot of times such like cruelty before a five year of Mary. They are asking some dowry demands, they are asking money, they are asking luxury by a girl, parents or by a girl and they are beating the girl sometimes, sometimes, not in all cases. So they are punishable according to, not punishable, they have some fine, yeah, punishable, 15,000 rupees and 5 years of jail. They need to go for a prison. Then my dear friends, it's CRPC. I'm going to explain CRPC and after that uh, I will ask you some question and uh, I will show you, you can write my theory, everything. CRPC 53. CRPC 53 is a police inquest and arrest a person. Arrest a person, those who commits a crime, like someone doing a rape. And that time, cut this, cut this. And uh, that time, uh, someone is doing a rape and that time a person who commit a rape he don't want to give his medical exemption or uh, permit so the, in that case there is no need of his permission the police will help you can do his medical examination under guidance of police so it is crpc 53 and crpc 174 is police interest and CRPC 176 is Magistrate Inquest. Magistrate Inquest came under when? When there is a death in a custody, in police custody, or offender is a policeman. Maybe people are died in lati charge. So who will going to go inquest? Only magistrate. In case of dowry also, magistrate is eligible. Okay. That's all my dear friends. Uh, this is my video <coughs> till uh, IPC and CRPC. And after that, we are going to talk about schedules. Now some question time, it's some question time and I am going to ask, but firstly I want uh, to show uh, my online viewers, they will write this video, okay, I am going to zoom it and then I will ask you some questions, so please brief revision fast, okay.
IPC 82, is, there is no punishment less than seven years of child. Then IPC 83 is mentally not developed, seven to 11 years child. Then IPC 191 is giving a false evidence. Then IPC 192 is creating false evidence. Then IPC 193 is punishable for false evidence. Then IPC 197 same. No, 197 issuing of false certificate by a doctor. Then IPC 228A is identity rape victim protect. Okay. Then IPC 300 defines a murder. It defines a murder. Then IPC 302 punishment for murder. Then IPC 304A is homicide or accidents. Then IPC 304B is dowry death and punishment for 10 years then IPC 307 is attempt to murder then IPC 312 is miscarriage then IPC 314 is death of woman due to abortion IPC 315 is killing of a child after a birth then IPC 319 is a heart then IPC 320 is a grievous heart then IPC 321 is a voluntarily causing heart. Then IPC 323 is punishment for voluntary heart. Then IPC 376 is punishment for rape. And IPC 375 is define a rape. Then IPC 377 is sodomy and bestiality. Now IPC 498A is cruelty before 5 years of marry, within 5 years of marry, 15,000 rupees fine and 5 year jail. Then CRPC 53 is police can arrest a person and ask a medical officer to examine without consent, with or without consent. CRPC 174 is police inquest, CRPC 176 is magistrate inquest. Okay, so I am going to ask the question. Question. I hope uh, Dr. Lal Singh uh, will answer the first question I am going to ask. Okay. A, a child below age of 7 years, if he took a stone and beat someone's head and he is going to suffering a very severe injury and in ICU after that injury. Is the child is punishable or if he is not punishable according to which section, Dr. Lalsi? Anywho. Yes, my dear friend, very good. I really appreciate such a student, those who are really not sleeping in my class, they are really paying attention on it and Dr. Lalsi, very good, very good. This is the first session of him and he is brilliantly answering. Okay, my dear friend, okay. Thank you. Okay. Then my next question goes to Dr. Emily from South Africa. Okay. So I'm going to ask a question. If a girl who is married and within the five years of age, she died, she died within three years but his husband her husband and his family they told she died accidentally but, uh, but here is a situation a girl family members parents want a inquiry they told she is not able to die by any accident it's a murder so who according to which section we are going to make inquiry in such condition yes doctor ipc 197 mm, is there anybody crpc 176 yes oh. dr manmohan is right and dr so, mla you need to work hard again again <laughs> if you want to practice in india from south africa you are already practicing <laughs> But this time you have to be work hard. Okay. <laughs> okay, doctor. Next time. Good chance. Okay. Now, 
Very good. I have only one question also. If someone is drunk, someone is drunk and he drives a car and if he hits someone, he keeps under which section? IPC 197. No, my dear friend, you love 197, but the here answer is 304B. I will explain to you, IPC 197 is providing a false evidence and false certificate. By a doctor. Yes, now you are right. Now you are right. Okay. Then I am going to explain you Schedule 1, Schedule 2 and Schedule 3. Schedule 1 is uh, for MCI Indian degrees, uh, doctors, those who are uh, granting a degree from India. They are came under Schedule 1. But in Schedule 2, the foreign degree is outside from India. But in Schedule 3, like Royal College or some diplomas they are doing, it's a earlier degree. I hope, my dear friends, you all understand this IPC. But you all have to work hard and try to understand it. Try to understand. I explain so many things. Okay. Uh -huh. So if you have any comments, if you have any question, you can ask me. Please subscribe my video. Please subscribe my video and put like on it. Okay, Dr. Emily. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Have a good thank day. You, thank you. Thank you. Okay. And Dr. <laughs> Sandhya, Dr. Manmohan, Dr. Lal Singh, I really happy you all took part in my video, my lecture. So my dear friends, have a good day. Thank you. Sir. And have a nice day. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, my dear friends. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.